In today's video, we'll explore figurable reasoning, a common question type you'll encounter in cognitive assessments. These questions evaluate your ability to understand nonverbal figures, identifying the relationship and differences between them. Together, we'll dive into some example questions, showcasing effective strategies, common mistakes, and discuss how these questions try to trick you. Our first question asks us to complete the pattern. The main mistake people make is focusing on one feature and ignoring the rest. Looking at the sequence, we can easily see the number of people in each box is increasing by one as it moves to the right. So our missing box will have four people inside, allowing us to eliminate option A and D. When we look closer inside each box, we can see box one and three have men and box two has women. So the pattern dictates our missing box will be woman, leaving option E as our final answer. Our next question asks us to find the odd one out. We have five options, each with six objects inside, and our task is to remove the one that doesn't belong. It's important to remember that whilst the test is trying to trick you, the answer may be very simple, and in these types of questions, normally is. We immediately see each option has three pairs inside, made up from numerous shapes. I don't see a pattern in the types of shapes, so I'm going to pair them up and see if there is a pattern through positions. As we can see, option E is clearly the odd one out. Our next question is a nine figure matrix. Our task is to find the missing box, and the golden rule is to separate the rows and columns as they tend to provide different information. Starting with the row, we can see each row has the same object inside. As our missing box is in the top row, our answer will be the top row shape, a black triangle, allowing us to eliminate options C, D, and E. Now we have to determine the shape's position, and you can choose any part of the matrix to work this out, and I've chosen the bottom row. To help visualize the difference, I've chosen one side of the shape, the base, and I'm going to see how it moves along the row. As we can see, it's moving 90 degrees anti-clockwise. And when we do this with the top row, we end up with option A as our final answer. Our final question is also a nine figure matrix, but unlike before, every row and column has straight lines inside. To discover the rules, we we'll use the same strategy of choosing one column or row to focus on, specifically one that is already complete. Looking at the first row, we can see from left to right, the boxes are increasing by one vertical line. So our missing box on the right should have three vertical lines, allowing us to eliminate option A, C, and E. When we look at the first column from top down, each box contains an additional horizontal line. Our missing box is in the middle, so it should have one more horizontal line than the top right square and one less than the bottom right, allowing us to eliminate option D, leaving option B as our final answer. Some additional tips to solve this type of question. Separate and go through features one at a time, but remember to include all the features when answering. Eliminate incorrect answers as you go, they only need to be wrong in one feature. Focus on unique features first and stay flexible. Sometimes you'll realize a rule stops working midway and that's okay as long as you adapt quickly. As you practice more, you'll notice which features are commonly used to differentiate answer options. Good luck on the test and see you in the next video.